Hey guys, Jail Ghost here, back with another episode of Retro Gaming Saturday. And in the last episode, we freed the homie Long Arms and opened this door. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run this boss battle. And just remember, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. If you want to see more from the channel, hit that bell icon to get notifications from us. And without anything else, let's get it started. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head on in that door and I guess see which boss it is we're about to battle. Oh, I hear him. Oh, damn, is that it? Oh, that's gonna be cake. I don't even think we're gonna have to do anything. Yeah, hey, look at that. We already took him out. That was easy, bro. Hey, give him a good old stomp just in case. Oh, I'm staying corrected. I guess we, uh, might have messed up. We kind of just, I think we just killed that dude's kid. But yeah, now he's throwing fireballs and stuff at us. That's a bit of an issue, but I'm thinking we should be a okay. Just gonna throw that barrel at him. Oh yeah, and check it out, we knocked him into the lava, so... That didn't seem to do too much damage to him, but... It did set him on fire, so that might be what we're gonna have to do here, if I remember correctly. But okay, yeah, we're getting wrecked here. So we're gonna have to pick up the pace on dodging these because we are getting hit a couple times we're already at half health. But I'm thinking he's at half health as well because I want to say you gotta hit him four times. So yeah, check that out. We set him on fire once again. And now we're gonna have to dodge him yet again. Oh yeah, damn, he's definitely doing a number on us, that's for sure. We're just gonna have to keep doing our best here to dodge these fireballs he's shooting at us. And look at that, he's over here in another corner too. So yeah, we're just gonna have to keep moving here and hopefully throw this barrel at him. Nice, and with that, we hit him a third time, so... Oh, it's looking like we already defeated him, we only added him three times, so... That was actually pretty cake, and we're gonna go ahead and get that key for the homie. Yeah, it was honestly probably one of the easier boss battles, and now we can give homie the key, but that being said, I'm gonna see if we can't find a couple bananas around here, because I'm thinking we need 15 to unlock the next zone, and we only have, I believe, 10 or 11. And as far as I know, the easiest place to get Bananas is going to be in here because I believe everyone has the ability to open one of these doors And you just have to shoot their ammo type which should be over here Yeah, I can see there's a feather And I believe over here. Yes, yeah, here's the grapes. So Somewhere on here is going to be the peanuts I just don't remember, you know exactly where it is. It must be on the other side over here. Yeah, it's probably one of these. Oh yeah, that's the pineapple. I'm thinking this one will be the peanuts. And yeah, look at that, it is. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head on in there and hopefully we get a banana from this. I'm thinking we do. But I don't entirely remember on all honesty. Oop. And camera freaked out a little bit. Oh, and damn, look at that. The door went and closed on us, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to go ahead and pop it back open. Which, you know, shouldn't be that much of an issue, I wouldn't think. We actually might be able to do it from down here. Oh, yeah, we can look at that. Nice. Now that the door's open, we can just go ahead and run straight on in here and hopefully get our golden banana. Oh, and look at that. This is where uh, Tiny is locked up. I didn't realize that. I think she was in the next level. Sorry, guys. I'm afraid they got me, too. Would you look at that? Well, it looks like we arrived at the right location, at least. So if it wasn't for us certain for them golden bananas, we would have 
you know, missed a whole entire character. But, yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to figure out how to get here. I'm thinking we're just gonna have to hit that panel of ours up there and, you know, hopefully make our way up there. It's looking like we're just gonna have to hit this. Oh, yeah, and check it out. It extends those little platform deals there. Which is pretty straightforward. Thinking they're gonna be timed, so... Definitely gonna have to try our best to, you know, move quickly. Oh, damn, we fell all the way down. Hopefully they're not timed, I guess, because we are not doing this quick enough if they are. And check that out. Now we're on the final one, so we made it up here. Not too sure what exactly that does for us because we couldn't really go anywhere once we got up there uh, oh damn that guy bit us too so yeah i'm not too sure what exactly it is that we need to do here yeah because okay yeah i don't remember what we need to do here maybe we need to go down that other pathway could be mistaken, but this is like frozen. I'm thinking we need to swim down there somehow. And that's the triangle, so we haven't unlocked that character yet. So we can't do anything down there. So yeah, we must have missed something up top there, I'm thinking. Either that or we need to run up in here with another one of our characters. Yeah, see, I must have uh, missed something up there. Maybe there's a target we have to shoot somewhere around or something. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to go quickly on these because it actually seems that they are timed. That being said, we got up here pretty easily. Let's see, oh yeah, check that out. There is a little target we had to shoot over there. So hopefully we can hit it. Check that out. We got it first try. And we have to walk along a plank, which is probably the hardest thing to do in this old game here. That being said, there is a cheese strat. If you wait... Oh, I kind of messed it up, but you can kind of see there if you wait on it. And then you're going to... Yeah, you're just going to want to wait until it, like, retracts. And then if you jump at the right time, you actually don't have to cross the plank, which makes it a lot easier. Oh, and check that out. We did like a secret little combo on him. Almost made me feel like Mario, dude, because I like bounced my head off the roof and then, you know, landed on that dude's head and took him out. Alright, nice. We made it back up here, so I'm going to give this one more try. And if it doesn't end up working out for us, I'm going to go ahead and run it off camera, honestly. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wait right here. And then, hopefully when it retracts, it'll pull us all the way there. So I'm thinking this is going to be the way to do it. Oh, we almost made it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make my way up there, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and I finally made it up here, so we're going to go ahead and play our instruments, see what happens. Oh, and look at that, it opened up the roof, so it's looking like it's going to melt that ice, so we can go ahead and swim up in it. All right, so I'm thinking we just got to hop in the water here and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and follow the banana trail here and see where it takes us. Oh yeah, and it took us into like a little room here. There's a couple different pathways we can take, it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and follow the one that, you know, has our bananas as well. So I'm thinking that's where she's going to be locked away at. Oh yeah, and look at this. This is what I was thinking of with the Kong. So what you have to do, and it's you know really easy, all you have to do is just go ahead and 
bounce into the letters on the wall with your special ability and spell out the word Kong. So it's pretty straightforward, but I'm thinking we're gonna have to talk to her before we do that. Or actually, no, we're just gonna have to smack into this dude right here before we do it. So it's pretty straightforward. See, all you gotta do is your little charge, and then it's looking like we're gonna kick it off. Oh yeah, and it's raising platform so we can actually hit the letters now. But yeah, all you gotta do is, it's really straightforward, you gotta just spell out Kong on the wall. So you wanna do, obviously, K. It literally says it on the wall, it's, you know, not hidden at all. You got K-O, and then we're just gonna have to hit the N, and then finally the G. So, it, you know, it's really a pretty straightforward process here. It's probably one of the easier bananas. Like, honestly, I think the hardest part about it is gonna be crossing the plank. Nice work, Diddy. Right then, I'll grab all the purple bananas I see. Okay, so she's gonna get the purple ones. Nice. And then she's gonna go ahead and go to the tag barrel, so... That definitely is gonna end up working out for us. And nice, now we have nine gold bananas. So actually, I'm thinking the next area is probably only going to be ten. So I'm thinking we're going to be able to get the last one. Either if we, like honestly, if we can get her glide ability, we can get that one barrel we unlocked earlier in like the desert area. But if not, we're gonna, I guess, just have to figure out another one we can get. But yeah, we're gonna head on out here, and I think we're gonna go ahead and swap over to Tiny and, you know, see what we can't get for her. Oh yeah, and look at that, we got some coins for her right here, right away, so we should be able to at least get her an ability, if nothing else. Squawk, hello Tiny, there are five gold bananas for you to find in here too. Well, that's good to know, so we should be able to find at least one of those, if nothing else. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hang, head over to Cranky's and hopefully unlock her glide. I'm thinking we can do it in this level. Like, obviously I could be mistaken. But that also being said, if I am, then we'll just go ahead and pick up her gun, because I know a couple doors we can unlock with that. I perfected another one of my potions, Tiny, and it's yours for just three coins. You won't get much farther without it, so I suggest you pay up. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get it. Alright, and with that, we've unlocked Mini Monkey, or Kongum Smallers. You can now use my special barrel with your face on it, leap into one, and prepare to be amazed as you change size. You'll only be able to remain like this while your supply of crystal coconuts lasts, though. Well, that's good to know. I'm not letting you have another potion yet, come and see me on the next level. Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna need to see him on the next level, but that being said, since we unlocked her ability, we should be able to head over here, and I'm thinking go in this barrel and see where we can't go with it. But actually, that being said, I'm thinking we're gonna need to unlock her instrument prior to that, so... Yeah, we're just gonna have to go around and search for a couple more of her coins. Which I'm hoping is gonna be, you know, a pretty easy task. Like, obviously I could be wrong, but, oh no, look at that. Here's five, so I'm thinking that should be enough to get her everything she needs. That should be enough for a gun, as well as an instrument. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to get the gun here at the moment. If I remember correctly, her ammo type is feathers. 
All right, let's see uh, what Funky has for us. Check this out, I've got this real cool shooter that'll trash K. Rule's army and it's yours for just three coins. Are we talking a deal here? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it for sure. Nice, and with that, we have the Feather Bow and Lock. Looking good, Tiny, let me give you the lowdown. All right, and he's gonna give us the controls for the original 64 controller. Zero doing right now, Tiny Dude? Afraid I gotta go work on my next big thing. Well, all right, now that we have the weapon unlocked, we can actually go ahead and head on over here and probably get one of her golden bananas because I'm thinking at least one of these doors is going to be for her ammo type. We just got to figure out which one and where the like thing that we got to shoot is, which shouldn't be too complicated, honestly. I'll check that out. We got some more bananas here. And actually, it's not looking like we can open any of these because I'm not seeing any targets on any of them at the moment. So I could be mistaken either that or, you know, there's something we have yet to do to unlock it. Which I'm thinking it's the latter. But, you know, I'm not too entirely sure what we have to do to unlock all the targets on there. So. I guess we're gonna hopefully find a different golden banana here for us but that being said we should just need to get her instrument and that should allow us to pick up said golden banana all right yeah we're just gonna go ahead and teleport back over here or actually we're not because it seems like we have a couple bananas in here so those are definitely going to be worth picking up because I do believe they carry on to the next area. So yeah, we're going to get as many of these as we can so then we don't really have to worry about them as much in the next zone. Oh, look at that. We got a couple more coins over here. Those are always good. Nice. And now our total is six, so we'll definitely have enough to unlock our instrument here nice and we've made it back to this area as well so we should just have to head over to candy shop and pick up her instrument which is pretty straightforward honestly For three coins, you can play on this musical instrument. Do you want it? Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and get it. And now we have the saxophone slam unlock. Stand a little closer, Tiny, and I'll show you how to use your instrument. And then she's just gonna go ahead and give us the controls for the original 64 controller. You have all the latest stuff for me? Come see me later on, okay? And I'm thinking it's not going to be the next level, but like a couple levels in, you go and see her, what's going to happen is you actually go ahead and unlock the... Or you go ahead and unlock an additional watermelon, because I believe the grand total you're allowed to have is... Three. But yeah, without anything else, let's uh go ahead and check out what this tower is for finally. I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty straightforward process. We should just have to play our instrument, which will unlock something, and then see what else happens. Squawk, what do you think I am, an eagle? You're pretty far too heavy for me. Okay, so we're gonna have to shrink, and then he'll be able to give us a look. Squawk, this ability uses your crystal coconuts. Cancel the move, and he's gonna go ahead and give us the control, which is very beneficial. But yeah, we're just gonna have to go ahead and run around here. I'm a book it up here and this time he should be able to give us a ride since we're a lot smaller all 
All right, and check it out. Now he can actually pick us up. Squawk, hold on tight. Here we go. Oh, and look at that. He's going to fly us all the way up to the top, it looks like. Hopefully he doesn't drop us. We're going to have a bad time. Oh, and he went ahead and dropped us anyway. Oh, and this is the race. Oh, it's only you, Tiny? Well, if you can beat me to the bottom of my slide and collect 50 coins, I suppose you can have my golden banana. Okay, and then he's going to go ahead and give us the controls. I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to achieve this, if I'm being honest with you guys. I've always had a hard time with this one. And yeah, so... I'm not going to be able to do this one, so I'm going to go ahead and wander around and pick up that other golden banana that I believe we need, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you this other golden banana that I'm going to get. I went ahead and went back into the llama area now that we have Lanky's gun, and we were able to open this door, so... I'm thinking we're gonna get another banana from doing whatever it is here on the wall. Oh yeah, look at that. Those are lowering down so we can get some coins and bananas, but we can go ahead and do this real quick, because this should be how we unlock another golden banana. And look, there it is. If I remember correctly, we just have to shoot them in a specific order here. Yeah, look at that. I'm thinking we have to do all four of each color. Or, I guess I'm mistaken here. Oh, actually, I believe we have to do it off the sound it makes, not necessarily the color it is. Yeah, look at that. Those two sounded the same. And these two are going to sound the same. So yeah, all we have to do is just match up the sounds. And we should be able to get them all spinning. Without too much of an issue. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. It's a little trial and error, but... You know, obviously nothing too complicated. Thinking is that one, but... Yeah, and look at that. We have most of them spinning, and I believe once they all start spinning, we're gonna go ahead and get that golden banana. So yeah, let's hope for the best here. All right, and check that out. Now we have all of them done, and we got the final golden banana that we're gonna need. That, our total is now up to 10. And in addition, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up these coins if we're able to. Because those should help us out in the next level. Alright, nice. Now that we got those, we can go ahead and head on out. But I'm also going to swap back to Tiny because she has several more coins right there that we can pick up nice now that we got those i'm actually going to swap back to donkey because since we were in here i unlocked his little area once again so we can finally check that out you know that being said as long as it doesn't close yet again but I'm also thinking the only reason it closed last time is because we lost all of our hearts in the area. I'm thinking when that happens, it like resets anything you do. But I guess, you know, there's really only one way for us to find out here. And that's going to be for us to go on over there. Oh yeah, and look at that. The doorway is still open, so... That's pretty great, but we're going to go over here and get our invincibility real quick, and then we should be good to head on in there. Alright, yeah, now we can finally run on sand and check out what this is all about here. 
Oh yeah, look at that. We got ourselves a little banana barrel in here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that and pick us up an extra golden banana because I'm sure we'll need it later. Stealthy Snoop. Sneak around the maze to check the to the checkered flags. So this is honestly one of the easier bonus barrels. I like how I say that as I get caught, but we're gonna give this one more well, go and I stage. should be able to complete it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try this yet again. Thinking I kinda just messed up a little bit. Yeah, so you just gotta really just sneak on past them. Oh yeah, and they will turn really quickly on you, it seems. Yeah, this is literally just a little maze here. Alright, check that out. We made it. Nice, with that, we have another golden banana. Our total is up to 11. Oh, and look at that, we also unlocked one of the teleporter pads, it looks like. Oh, look at that, now we can get in there and get Diddy's Balloon whenever we so choose, but... That also being said, now that we have officially... have reached the amount of bananas that I believe is necessary... I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, head on over to the dude that we need to give the key to. And, you know, hopefully we're gonna unlock the next area. I don't 100% remember which area it is, but, you know, I guess there's really only one way for us to find out. So, yeah, we're gonna head on back and, I guess, see what he does. Nice, and with these teleporters, we are just about out of the sandy area. So now I won't have to deal with the sand traps anymore. Alright, nice, and actually since we're here, we're gonna go ahead and swap back to Tiny as well, because she can actually open the door over here. I guess I didn't realize that, so we can see what's in there. It's gotta be something a little interesting if that's the only way to open it. Oh, okay, I know what that is, and that is uh, gonna be a platform for our next character, and Essentially what he does is he'll get like super size and he'll body slam that and it'll activate it the same way we'd activate our normal buttons. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, without anything else, let's go ahead and give this guy the key that will, you know, bring us one step closer to freeing him. Alright, dude, here's another key for you. <laughs> I'll check it out, he's all happy and he's gonna do his little dance once more and I think unlock another area for us. Oh, and look at that, he unlocked one of the areas on... Oh, not just one of the areas, but two of the areas on his island there so if i remember correctly we're gonna want to do the underwater one later because i believe the one that we have to go up to the doors where we're gonna walk our next character so we're gonna go ahead and head on up there which should be you know pretty easy you just gotta follow this path at the moment i don't remember exactly how many enemies there are, but you know, I'm thinking there's definitely going to be a couple at least. I see a bee up there, but other than that, I haven't really seen anyone else. Now the real question is, do we go this way or the other way? Oh, well, what is this? Oh, this is a... 
This is Snide's HQ, so we actually didn't need to come in here. But it's good to know that that's there. That's going to be for cashing in some more of our blueprints. And with that, we have fallen all the way down, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and you know, hopefully make our way up there yet again. Oh, look at that. We got a thing with our base on it that we can't use yet. So there must be something we unlock. Oh, look at that. There's a free golden banana for us if we were playing as Lanky. So that's good to know in case we're you know, going to need any later. Is that one literally all we have to do by the looks of it is just shoot that target and it'll open the door and give it to us for free. Which is actually, you know, quite easy. But, you know, that also being said, we're going to prioritize heading up here and unlocking the next area. So hopefully we can unlock the final member of our crew. And after that, we should be good to just go ahead and Crank out the rest of the boss battles and free the dude. Nothing else. Alright, yes, yeah, see, so now we're running into a couple enemies, so we're definitely going the right way, without a doubt. Look at that, we're finally even with the eyes on Donkey Island. And look at that, we unlocked the number four. So nice, now that we have unlocked here, we could go in, but before I do that, I actually did remember something that only Tiny can do, and that's going to be for us to go over here to the Fairy Island. And if I remember correctly, this is actually going to be how we unlock our camcorder. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and fast track over here, and I believe there's another teleporter pad over here. Oh yeah, look at that, there's number five. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop in the barrel, and then we should be good to go in the little island here. Alright, yeah, and look at that. We can go ahead and run on in there. Oh, yeah, she's all upset, sounds like. You can hear her all crying. Oh, I just don't know what to do. There was this huge trimmer recently and it scared my banana fairies so much that they panicked and flew away. I'll reward anyone who managed to find them all and bring them back to me. Please help me, little one. Calm down, Miss Fairy, my friends, and I will look out for them on our adventure. Nice. Oh, thank you, but I'm afraid you won't be able to simply grab them out of the air. The only way to catch banana fairies is by trapping them inside special banana skin photographs. Here, take my magical camera. It already has some film in it. To activate the camera, press and hold. Okay, and this is just going to be the keys on the original 64 controller. And, okay, it's gonna say that it uses a couple crystal coconuts, it looks like. Oh, and we unlocked a special ability from her, it looks like. And nice, and it's actually very good we unlocked this, because that ability that we unlocked is actually gonna be how you take out those big guys and get the blueprints. But, that also being said, for those of you that don't know, the real reason that I went ahead and got that is because once you are able to snapshot all of the fairies, what's going to happen is you're actually able to unlock the cheat mode on the game. And you can get like infinite hearts, infinite ammo and all that from her. But, you know, it's quite an arduous task to get all the fairies. Alright, yeah, and look at that. I was right, he needs 15, so... That's a little unfortunate, so I'm gonna go ahead and get four more bananas. But that also being said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it for this episode, and by the time the next episode comes around, we should have enough bananas to get in there. And just remember... If you like the content, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button if you want to see more from the channel, 
that bell icon to get notifications from us. And yeah, then we'll have another episode of this up next week. And then tomorrow, we're going to have some more Batman Arkham Origins playthrough. That sounds like something you want to check out. Go ahead and tune in then. And without anything else, I'll see you guys later. Peace.